challenges facing the African continent. Details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed that constitutions shall always be subject to review and upgrade in line with the challenges through a rapidly developing world. During his speech in the preparatory meeting of the African chiefs of the constitutional courts in Cairo via video conference on Saturday, President Sisi urged all the members participating to coordinate and work collectively to establish joint constitutional rules in order to combat the challenges facing the African continent. The president pointed out that the current situation requires all members to unite to deal with the pandemic challenges from a legal and constitutional perspective. Isisi added that this is in addition to other traditional challenges. Chief among them is the need to cooperate in the face of terrorism as it enhances the process of development and stability. The president also called on the members to get the maximum benefit of the constitutional digital platform that has been launched in the previous meetings for the good of the African people. The head of state added that the digital transformation constitutes a huge challenge for the continent, yet it negatively affects countries that don't use such transformation. The president noted that Egypt has taken important steps in the field of the digital transformation. Hence, the president expressed his aspiration for the success of the Cairo meeting, concluding, long live Egypt, long live Africa. President Fatah Sisi on Saturday praised the historical ties between Egypt and uh, Guinea-Bissau, stressing Egypt's support for Guinea-Bissau in all fields. This came during a phone call the president has received from the Guinean counterpart Omar Sikoko, Sisoko Imbalo. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Raji said that uh, Guinea-Bissau's president stressed during the phone call his country's keenness on boosting bilateral relations with Egypt in all domains, hailing the vital role played uh, by Egypt in the African continent. Imbalo also hailed the Egyptian role in enhancing joint African cooperation as well as boosting pan-African trade and investment. The phone call tackled means of boosting bilateral relations as the two leaders agreed on activating joint cooperation frames on various domains in a way that enables the two countries confront security challenges facing the region. Iraq security forces clashed with a terrorist group of Daesh north of Baghdad on Saturday, leaving at least five terrorists and two security personnel dead. A joint force of army troops and state-sponsored tribal fighters raided the Daesh hideout in the leafy plains of Termea. Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al-Qadimi met with top military commanders as troops combed the fields and agricultural lands around Termea. The new raid comes nearly one month to the day after twin suicide bombers killed more than 30 people in the packed Tehran Square, the bloodiest such attack in Baghdad in three years. Algeria released more than 36 pro-democracy activists from jail, including a prominent journalist in the first batch freed under presidential